Hello everyone, welcome to our special Take Two channel. Last session we explored some sections of tile caching in Java server like tile layers and disk coda. In this session, we want to talk about the security section in Java server, such as changing the default password and defining users, groups, and roles, and grant rights to create users. If you want to know more details about it, watch the rest of this video. Java server has a robust security subsystem. Most of the security features are available through the web administration interface. In the security panel, you can find links to set user properties and bind data to security rules. The basic idea is that you create users and roles and combine them with data to enable a specific access policies. You can also limit read and write access by role. Also, Java Server has a predefined admin user, which can be used to access Java Server with full administration privileges. The default password for the admin user must be changed to avoid unauthorized access to your Java Server instance. To change the password of the admin user, follow these steps. In order to change any server settings or configure data, a user must first be authenticated. As we said earlier, the default administration credentials are admin as username and Java server as password. From the left on the security section, click the users, groups, roles menu link. Then move to the users, groups tab. By default, you have one user called admin and role called administrator. Click on the admin username to view its properties. Type in the new password to use for the admin user. Click on save to save your change. Log out now, then log in with the new password. Defining users, groups, and roles. Security in Java server is based on a role system where each role defines a specific set of functions. You can assign roles to users and groups, that is assign functions to real people using your system. To ensure data security, you need to identify who is accessing your layers and your services. In order to organize your real users, Java Server provides you with the user, group, and roles concept. With the first two, you can insert real people into the Java Server security subsystem, and with roles, you can grant rights to real users. User Definition in Java Server, a user is someone entitled to use the system. It may be another software or a real person. When you add a user to the security system, Java Server stores a username uniquely identifying the user, a password, and a set of key and value pairs to store general information about it. You can disable a user at any time, preventing him from using the system. Group Definition A group is a set of users. Java Server stores a list of usernames belonging to the group and group name uniquely identifying the group. Roles Definition Java Server roles are associated with performing certain tasks or accessing particular resources. Roles are assigned to users and groups, authorizing them to perform the actions associated with the role. So, due to the Java Server may have many users and it's difficult to assign a role to everyone, therefore groups can be created and roles can be considered for each group according to the users. Note, considering that there is no dependencies between users, groups, and roles, a group can be disabled, but note that this is only removes the roles deriving from the disabled group and does not disable the users belonging to the group. Creating Users and Groups in order to fully understand how security works in Java Server, we will use a typical scenario. We want to restrict access to this data to only the organization's members. Inside the organization, there are a few people editing data to create new data sets or to update the existing ones and many more members who need to read data to compose maps. There is also a need for an administrator to keep it all working. Lastly, we need to consider that our Java server site also contains data that should remain freely available. We will now create a security organization from an unsecured Java server as follows. We will start creating groups. In the security section of the left pane, select the users, groups, and roles link. This link shows you the user group services configured. You will find the default service shipped with Java server. Click on the name to edit it. Select the Groups tab. This list is empty. Click on Add a new group. Enter group underline readers as a group name and leave the group enabled. Do 
can't assign any role to the new group as we will create the specific roles later. Click on the Save button. Repeat the previous step to create the group underline editors and group underline admins groups. Your list should now show the three groups. Now switch to the Users tab. Obviously, it lists the only existing user that is admin as shown in the screen. Click on the Add New User link and add user underline admin with a password of your choice as data administrator. Add user underline admin to the group underline admins. Then click on the Save button. Repeat the previous step to create a user. User underline editor is a member of the group underline editors group and user underline reader is a member of group underline readers group. Your list now shows the three users. We just created three users for the three groups and this may seem overkill to you. Consider them as templates for the real users. In the real world, we don't want to have too many administrators. We will probably need several user underline readers and user underline editors processing the data. Now we need to define what they can do on Joe's server. Defining roles. A user or group without any role assigned is useless. Now it's time to create roles and assign them to our users. Please refer to the following points. From the user, groups and roles section, select the roles tab. You will find that two roles already exist. They are administrative roles assigned to the admin account and they grant access to all show server configuration. Click on the edit link. Leave the Settings tab untouched and switch to the Roles tab. Click on Add New Role. Enter Role Underline Reader as a new role name. We don't need a parent role. A child role inherits all grants from the parent role, making it useful when you want to extend the basic role with more grants. Indeed, we will do this in the next step. Click on the Save button and then repeat the previous step to create the Role Underline Editor role. This time, select role underline reader as the parent role. Click on the save button and then repeat the previous step to create the role underline admin role. This time, select the role underline editor as the parent role. Once saved, your roles list should look like the screen. The final step is to associate a role to users or groups. Select the user, groups, and roles page from the left pane. Then select the groups list and click on the group underline readers group to edit it. Add the role underline reader role to group and save it. Now click on the group underline editors group and associate it with the role underline editor role. Finally, associate the group underline admins group to the role underline admin role. By defining roles and associating them to the users, we completed the definition of our organization. Now we need to explore how data is bound to roles and users. Accessing data and services. Joe Server supports access and control both at the service level, allowing for the lockdown of service operations to only authenticated users who have been granted a particular role and on a per layer basis. The two approaches cannot be mixed. If you locked on a service to a role, you can't grant to access on a specific layer to the same role. When working with layers, you can define rules that specify what a role can do on any specific layer. 
The operations controlled are the view, write, and admin access. When granting read access on layer, you enable a user to edit on a map. While granting write access, you enable the user to update, create, and delete features contained in the layer. The admin access level enables the user to update the layer's configuration. Layer security. We want to protect the data set contained in the project workspace from unauthorized access while leaving the remaining layer freely available to all users. In this section, we will associate layers and roles. Under the security section on the left pane, select data. The rules list shows the two shipped with the default Joe server configuration. The asterisk dot asterisk dot R rule is associated with the asterisk roles. This means that every user, including the anonymous one, can access and read any layer from any workspace configured on Joe server. The general form of the rule is then as in this code, workspace.layer.access mode. Now click on the add new rule link. In the rule editing page, select project as workspace and leave asterisk as a layer. Since we want to protect all layers in this workspace, the access mode should be read. Select the role underline read and row and move it to the right list by clicking on the row. Click on the same button to create the reading rule. Repeat the previous step to create writing rule. Select write as the access mode and role underline editor as the role. Repeat the previous step. Then create the administration rule. In other words, select admin as the access mode and role underline admin as the role. After saving, you will see a rule list like the one displayed in the screen. Click on save on the rule list page and then log off from the show server web interface. If you try to access the layer preview anonymously, you won't see any layers from the project workspace while all the others are still listed. Now, log on as user on the line reader with the password you assigned to him. Going back to the layer preview, you should see the project layer listed. Try the open layers preview page for the reverse layer. It works and you can use the data to compose maps. However, user on the line reader cannot edit the size associated with the layer or any other property. He would need admin rights granted for it. Can you guess who the proper user will be? Log on to Joe server as user on the line admin. Now the left pane is richer than it was when you were user on the line reader, but with fewer features than those visible to the Joe server's default admin role. Click on the layer link. You will see only the layers belonging to the project workspace. If you go on layer preview and select the rivers layer again, can you see the map? Of course you can, because of roles inheritance which you set when creating the roles. So role underline admin inherits all the grants from role underline editor and hence from role underline reader. In the next session, we will check if user underline editor can actually edit data. For this purpose, WFST services can be used to create, update, and delete your special data. Login as administrator user and from the welcome page, click the services link on the menu security section. Service security. Joe server allows access to be determined on a service level based on the default roles. In other words, Joe server allows only authenticated users who have been granted a particular role access to OWS services, for instance, WFS. Remember that service level security and layer level security cannot be combined. For example, it's not possible to specify access to a specific service only for one specific layer. OWS services. OWS services support setting security access restrictions globally for a particular service or to a specific operation within that service. For example, securing the entire WFS service so only authenticated users have access to all WFS operations. Allowing anonymous access to read only WFS operations such as get capabilities, but securing write operations such as transactions.
Services and roles are linked in a file named services.properties located in the security directory in the Joe Server Data directory. The file contains a list of rules that map service operation to defined roles. You can see the syntax of specifying rules in the screen. Service.operation equal role. The parameters include service is an OGC service, such as WFS, WMS, or WCS. Operation can be any operation supported by the service. Examples include get feature for WFS, get map for WMS, and asterisk for all operations. Role is the name of predefined role names. Remember that the default service security configuration in Joe Server contains no rules and allows any anonymous user to access any operation of any service. Now we want to allow only the users that have role underline admin role to access any WMS operation. Click on Add New Rule in the top menu, then select WMS from Service Combo Box. Select Asterisk from Method Combo Box. Select the role underline admin created in previous section and press the right arrow at the center of the window. Then click on the Save button. Navigate to the Layer Preview and try to show a layer with open layers. You will find that it's inaccessible. Log out as admin and log in as user underline admin. Navigate to the layer preview and try to show a layer with open layers. Now the layers are accessible. Therefore, just user underline admin can access the WMS service and any other user like user underline reader cannot access this service, even the Joe server is admin. In this session, we took a brief journey through Joe server security. From the plain installation, which ships with a very low security level, you learned how to create users and give them grants to access data and OWS services and perform tasks on Joe server. By defining rules for data access, we restricted what actions a user can perform on the data and unless you know the admin password, there is no way to bypass the security system and access restricted data. In this session, the Joe Server Introductory Training course was completed. From the next session, we will start the intermediate level course that each section will be covered in more details. It's our pleasure that you enjoyed today's video. If you like the contents of tutorials, please like it and subscribe our channel. Also, if you would like to know more information around the Joe server, we recommend you to watch the list of suggested videos. Have a good time!